Outlander star Sam Hewen has spoken about how Outlander has changed his life, and how it has helped Scotland. Sam Hewen spoke exclusively to Spo North on the Outlander effect, which has brought thousands of visitors, and millions of pounds, to Scotland. Sam spoke following author Diana Gabaldon's Tourism Award win, and how Spo North 2019 is helping Scotland embrace the Outlander effect in Inverness this July 3rd and 4th. As Outlander author Diana Gabaldon this week received an international contribution to Scottish Tourism Award at the Scottish Thistle Awards, Visit Scotland announced how places used in the TV adaptation of her fantasy novels have seen meteoric visitor numbers rise, in some cases like Down Castle by 226.5%. Actor Sam, who plays lead character Jamie Fraser, click here to read our exclusive interview gave an exclusive comment to Spo North Creates Industries Festival organizers, Outlander has not just changed my life completely, it's hugely affected Scotland too, seeing our culture and heritage reach internationally and celebrated around the world. I first met my character Jamie Fraser six years ago when asked to audition for the TV adaptation. Little did I realize how popular and widely read Diana's books are, or I may have been more nervous. I've seen thousands of fans each year, travel to Scotland, visit our locations and try to immerse themselves in our world in any way possible. Not just tourism and merchandise, Outlanders fans have helped fund numerous charity projects, fitness programs, musicians, Gaelic language courses, film funding, community gatherings, even building restoration. I've seen a film studio flourish in the centre of Scotland complete with workshops, several sound stages, edit suits and an impressive costuming department, employing huge numbers of local staff and benefiting local businesses. I think we grossly underestimate how much influence and enterprise Diana Gabaldon has brought to us, placing the spotlight on our country and celebrating our culture. Not only that, she has written some devilishly good characters and really enthralling books. Keep writing Diana, and thank you. Malcolm Roughhead, chief executive of Visit Scotland, said, The impact of Outlander on Scotland has been truly extraordinary. Jenny Oliver of Highlands and Islands Enterprise added, This is a statement that we completely agree with here at Highlands and Islands Enterprise, and within the Spo North team particularly as we prepare for our first panel set to help people learn how best to embrace the Outlander effect in July 2019. Zpo North which takes place this 3 and 4th of July at Eden Court Theatre and Cinema in Inverness, is Scotland's leading Creates Industries festival attracting over 2,000 delegates, and a whole host of globally renowned and international speakers who get involved and support audiences from across Scotland, including giving many one-to-one -one and small business group advice sessions. The festival will be looking at film tourism specifically in a session called The Outlander Effect. 2017 saw a record number of tourists to Scotland with a 17% rise in visitors and 23% rise in spend. The phenomenal growth in visitors can be connected to the hit TV series and book, Outlander. From local hero, Highlander, Harry Potter and Skyfall through to the Outlaw King, Scotland has a track record of successful screen tourism. This panel session will discuss the benefits and opportunities and how to maximize the Outlander effect. Festival manager and programmer Alex Smith said, We want to help creative industries understand how they too can benefit from this enormous opportunity we have in Scotland. We've managed to organize really strong panelists for this who can talk people through their unique experience and knowledge of what happens behind the scenes, and what people can do themselves to ensure they share in the incredible author's saga's ongoing legacy. Chair of the panel will be Scotland's top expert on the project Jenny Steele, Film and Creative Industries Manager at Visit Scotland, sharing the stage with Audrey Jones, New Business, and Film, Historic Environment Scotland who manage many of the sites used in the filming, Bonnie Edgecombe of Abbeyshot, and Tracy Milton of Kingsmills Hotel.